Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be starting yet another build series. Now, I've done a few of these in the past, and they never seem to really work out the way I want them to because I never finish anything. So the goal this time around is to actually finish the build, as well as make a cool new offshore ship for uh, people to use in the workshop. Now, I was actually inspired to do this kind of offshore x -bow type ship uh, when Largs released his latest creation, which is the Logger, and I took a look at that and I loved it. And so I want to try and make something maybe similar. We'll see where this goes. So I'm going to start just like with any other build. I'm going to measure out the length and width of the ship that I want to make. In this case, it's 56 meters long, and I forget how wide it is. The next thing I'm going to do is plan out what the ship will look like at the waterline. So what that means is, basically I'll be building up from here, as well as down, to finish the whole entire hull. After I've got a good height measured out, I'm going to start and fill in the front of the hull. I'm making sure not to go too far over the edge here because I know I'm going to have to switch to a different type of wedge after. Now I knew going into this there's going to be some uh, uneven spots that I was going to have to connect and so right here I'm just trying to lay out the basic shapes and then fill in the gaps later when I can. This little hole right here definitely took a little bit of time to figure out how to make it look okay. Uh, the trick with these is it's never going to look perfect, so what you want to do is just try to make it look the best you can. And in this case, I think I got it pretty okay here. From here, I'm just going to try and move backwards, um, connecting all the wedges and trying to make everything as seamless as I can. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and start working backwards up until pretty much where I make a straight wall. I'm going to lay out those 4x4 pyramid blocks and then I'm just going to keep building with some 1x1s and I'm going to try to connect those um, up top there. But the problem is now that I have another weird kind of connection piece that this time I really don't know how to make it look nice. This part was probably the most frustrating part of the whole building process, just because it took so many different tries, and no matter how many times I tried, I could not get this part to look nice. So right here, I think I patched it up a little bit, um, but as you'll see later, I definitely come back to this and make sure it's looking a little better before I move on. As I said before, with these complex hulls, it's pretty much impossible to uh, make the whole thing smooth and seamless just because of the wedges that we get in Stormworks aren't the greatest variety or whatever. So pretty much the challenge is to do the best you can. Here at the back, I was thinking to use these sort of medium wing pieces, but instead I think I kind of decided against it because it wouldn't really make much sense. And I was primarily going to do it for weight saving purposes, but I don't think they were even that much lighter than regular blocks anyway. From here I got to work on a little bit of flare on the top of the bow, but in retrospect that was definitely way too much and I could have gotten away with a lot lower, yeah. Finishing up this part of the hull, I didn't really love the way this looked, it kind of branched out after which I, yeah, I didn't really love that. But I kept going with it for a little while and uh, just hoping that if I didn't like it, I would change it later. I think that's probably one of the biggest pieces of advice I'd give if you're building something. Just keep on trying, like you'll see how something looks and maybe you won't like it, but um, the more you try, the more chance you have to make something you do like, so.
Now this little bit right here was really weird. I did not like the way that that looked with the two corners coming in like that, so I knew I had to make it straight or something. And after taking care of that, I made the um, gunnel kind of come up a little further and tried to make all this sort of come together into uh, one point. Eventually, I just kind of scrapped that idea and decided to go with something else entirely. It was definitely a lot easier working with these 2x2 two two wedges now because uh, they just let me finish off the hull curve so much faster. After that was done, I sort of started working on how the um, hull would slant down onto the main deck area of the ship. Uh, this part is like one of the hardest, I think, to do because there's so many different options and I, had to, I looked at other pictures of uh, similar vessels to try and see what would work and what wouldn't and so I ended up going with a lot of phases with this to make it actually look okay. I also decided to move the flare further back from the uh, front of the bow and I made it three blocks tall this time and I think I liked the way that looked a bit better but still I was having trouble with the slants going down to the main deck and so after that I kind of just um, threw the towel in and started working on the bottom of the hull which was going to be similar to the top either way just a bunch of wedges that I had to fix and uh, figure out how to put together. Right about here is where I started making the bottom, and uh, you don't really want to make anything too curved. Usually the flatter the bottom, the more stable the ship, so you want to make sure to keep that in mind when you're building it. I was pretty happy with the way this came out here, um, any other scaling issues I'd address probably later, but for now I just started working a little more on the uh, slanted edges of the ship, because I wanted to get those right before I did anything else. From there I kind of went on and did the slant, or at least tried to do the slant for the back of the ship. I tried a few different times and I decided to do something pretty flat with uh, pretty much only involving 1x4 wedges and some straight pieces as well. This part is pretty important just so you can fit the, like the azimuth thrusters in the back of the ship because without this slant that would be really hard to do um, and the draft of the ship would be really really tall so you wouldn't want that either. Once again I tried to kind of connect it to the sides of the hull the best that I could. It's not um, perfect and doesn't look really look great but uh, when I came back to it after it started to look a little nicer. After thinking about it for a little longer, I decided to kind of redo the slanted pieces on the sides of the ship, and I think the 2 by one wedges probably would look better, so I tried to split that up. And right here I'm just trying to lay out how the um, staircase from the bow area will lead to the back deck. It's not perfect or anything, but I'm just trying to make it um, visible. Again, I kept chipping away at the side pieces right there because I couldn't really figure out what looked right and what didn't look right, so I kept on just going 
with that and seeing if I can make anything that looks sort of decent. After looking at it some more, I decided to curve the back in a little bit. I think maybe I'll even do a little more in the future, but just because the, the back area right now isn't looking great compared to some other ships similar to this on the workshop, it should probably have some kind of almost like winch area in there. So I'll come back and try to do that after. But for the meantime, I am uh, fussing about with the diagonal sides again. This time I want to try to make a little window on the side, which I thought would be kind of cool. Maybe even make a little section to put a rescue boat. After comparing my ship to the logger by Lorgs, I um, realized it was a little bit too wide, so I ended up removing about four or five blocks worth of material from either side. And as you can see right now, I'm just copying and pasting bits and pieces of the sides and kind of blending them in with the other walls because it was looking a little wide. Um, so that was gonna definitely dr drive up uh, fuel consumption and weight and everything like that and uh, as well as cause extra lag. So I didn't really wanna make anything too big or too complicated. So I'm gonna be downsizing it a lot for the next part of this video. The next part that I took care of was the little front section on here. I didn't love the way that looked. Uh, I might, may as well have just filled it in with two by ones like I did just there. And I moved that little front piece back as well just to blend it in better with the overall hull. And I think that helped a little bit with the look of the ship. Now I still didn't love how tall it was, so I selected the top part and tried to bring that down. Once I brought that down a little bit, I started merging that with the rest of the hull, and that way I could finally get rid of that super ugly um, transition there in the middle that I'd made earlier. So instead of that, I came up with something a little better, I think, and it was cool that it ended up um, coming together like this. I did not expect that. That was just purely luck on my part. Aside from that now, I'd already um, made the ship a little bit more better scaled, and I like the height and the width of it much better than it did before, so I definitely downscaled it quite a bit, but that was worth it. I was still kind of playing around with the sides of it, trying to get that same sort of window. I also decided to lower the main deck a little bit. I thought maybe it was a little too high. I didn't need that much buoyancy back there, so I could have just made myself a bigger um, space to work that's closer to the water, which I thought also paid off. I think the ship looks much more well thought out now. From there on, I started um, sort of finishing up the back end of the ship. I started making a little wedge thing that would go further down a little bit to make the back look a little more dynamic. Plus the thrusters would go on either side of this. Here I'm just comparing it to the logger once again because I thought the way he laid out the scale was pretty good and after look, taking a look at it another time, I decided to uh, shrink the bow down a little further. Um, first thing I did was just kind of curve it a little further inwards so it was sort of less abrupt than before. After I finished that, I filled it in and I started working a little on the front part, which I had a vision for this before. I wanted to make something like an indent in the front of the ship, and I think this was the right place to put it, because I tried it somewhere else. I cut that part out uh, for obvious purposes, but I think this one worked pretty nice. And after that, I put a little um, flare up top, filled that in, and then I went to work with a bluish color and started coloring the rest of the ship. I'm not sure if I'm too happy with this color yet, but I think it's a good um, start, I think, because you can put a lot of white logos and stuff like this on this color and it'll look good. After I had colored the outside, I started removing material from the top. And I was trying to make a little enclosure area that looked more or less round. So I took some wedges of every different kind 
and put them all together, painted the top, and I think that looked pretty good in my opinion. So I started building a little fence almost around it, which I later transformed into two by ones like this. So it would be looking forward kind of. And I colored that in with some white on the outside and some dark gray on the inside. Right here, I'm sort of building up how the floors will look. So every red block is like the actual separation and there's eight white blocks in between um, for the actual floor. From here, I started making a sort of top deck. This is where the bridge kind of exits and entrances will be and where all like the water cannons and stuff will hopefully take place. To build the bridge, I'm going to use some one by one wedges just because they're easy and simple. They look good and they fit the windows in the game pretty easily because uh, I didn't want to use custom windows a lot on this build because those have to be sealed if you want to actually use them well. And so for the majority of this, I want to use the pre-built windows. From here, it was a lot of laying out where certain things would go and I started making the top floor and really trying to make it look good with all the different types of wedges. I think I settled on this design with the uh, two by one wedges at the top. And from there, I kind of expanded it a little further out to make room for a passageway and then made the little bridge wings at either side and closed that in with the floor. It was looking pretty nice from here. So I kind of decided to use that same design language to finish off the bridge. And then I'd bring it down to the deck level and paint that. Um, maybe this wasn't the final design that I was going to go with, but it was a good start to uh, sort of close in the ship and actually start working on separate parts. Right here I started making a little passageway just above the window so you could walk down to the main deck and you can also walk below that and actually look out the window. Before wrapping up uh, for the day, finally, I decided to take uh, another crack at the back end of the ship. So I pasted this little improved design into the back and I started working on actually making it sloped, kind of like you see here with the one by four wedges. And I made the sides come up like this to make it more of like uh, a winch friendly zone. Taking a look at it from the outside, I'm pretty happy what we've got so far. I'm um, comparing it to the logger again. It's a little taller than it. I think one, maybe one floor or something like that, but it doesn't really make that big of a difference as long as I'm kind of have the same general scale. I think it's all right. And uh, so far I like the way it looks. I think it's gonna be pretty stable with the hull being built that wide. Um, so I'm looking forward to working on this in the next episode.